Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 here in uh, Budapest in Hungary where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Francis Guri who is the Director General from WIPO. Francis, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to start off by talking about the, the theme of this year's uh, telecom uh, is innovating together, connectivity that, uh, that matters. I wanted to ask you what makes connectivity meaningful and, and why is it so important? Well look, I think it's very fundamental to innovation. Uh, connectivity. Uh, uh, ideas rarely occur in isolation. They're building on the past or building on present influences. And so getting connectivity between people really is essential to the generation of ideas and to the development of ideas and taking them forward. So what ITU does in ensuring connectivity around the world is really the fundamental basis, I think, of all innovation. Um, we can see that in you know, open innovation, which has become very popular in the course of the last 20 years, for example. Instead of a closed R&D lab within one enterprise, they're opening up to external influences. Uh, so it's the connectivity with others that matters and that in inspires. Uh, so it's very fundamental. Let's talk about uh, what single innovation in technology policy or strategy do you think is, is the most potential uh, to, to drive digital transformation? Well, look, there are many, of course. Uh, I think we must continue to think that the internet is the basis. It's, it's really the basis that has driven so much. Uh, and all the others are building upon it in a certain way. Uh, of course, you could say digital technology in general, uh, and the whole digital revolution. But the internet is what we need 5G for. Uh, the internet is going to make artificial intelligence meaningful. Uh, so the internet, I think, still remains an extremely precious resource that we need to take care of. Now, you're Director General of WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organization. What role has WIPO got in, in, in the growing digital economy? Yeah, well, I think content. Uh, so uh, we are either trying to encourage through the policy of intellectual property innovation or cultural creativity. You know, that's the copyright side. Uh, so all of this connectivity, you need to have content to transmit. Uh, and that's really our specialty and that's what uh, drives, I think, the, the complementarity between the ITU and the World Intellectual Property Organization. If you like, you are the pipes, and we are what flows in the pipes. Well, we're next door neighbours in Geneva, so it's not too far a distance yes, exactly, for it to flow, exactly. has it? But uh, I, I wanted to ask you, in terms of uh, you mentioned uh, innovation, what, what, what does responsible innovation mean to you? Well, this is a great question, I think, because uh, I think the characteristics of innovation that we're seeing are speed, in incredible speed, and also the radical nature of uh, innovation now. So we have technologies like artificial intelligence or like uh, hereditary genomic editing. And of course, at the basis of that is digitization. Uh, but uh, they're two examples of where we need responsibility. Uh, and that responsibility is coming. It's coming slowly around the world, it must be said. But uh, for example, in artificial intelligence, there's concern about lethal autonomous weapon systems. Uh, in uh, hereditary uh, genome editing, there's concerns about what that might do to a particular individual, whether an animal or a human being, or what it might do to the species. So uh, these are fundamentally important questions. Now, unfortunately, we're living in a time in which international cooperation in making new rules and norms is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult to achieve. <clears throat> so we see groups of scientists, for example, getting together to discuss responsible innovation in human hereditary genome editing, for example. We see lots of different groups promoting responsible artificial intelligence. So I think it's a very, very important qualification that we need to make to innovation. We don't want innovation just for innovation's sake. We want innovation that's going to improve the quality of our lives. 
talking about getting together. Uh, this event here uh, has attracted a number of uh, major players uh, uh, throughout the industry and, uh, and, and, of course, governments as well. Uh, and I wanted to ask you, what's the importance of uh, attending uh, events such as this, uh, ITU Telecom World? <coughs> well, I think the, the fundamental idea of international cooperation is one that we need, is also precious and we need to preserve. Uh, uh, conferences like this, I think, promote understanding between different peoples, different cultures. Uh, it's extremely important. So they're a, a very important component of a healthy international society. And what do you hope uh, you'll take away from your, your particular presence here? Always learning, you know, always learning. There's such a, a, a rich display of innovation and what's happening in terms of connectivity and telecommunications around the world. <coughs> that there's always something to learn. Well, Francis Guru, thank you very much for being with us in the studio, and we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Great. Thank My you. Pleasure.